Disclaimer, this Diary of a Wimpy Kid LOB is extremely messed up. So much so, it nearly got removed from the r slash loaded diaper subreddit, and I had to stop uploading it to Reddit to avoid being in trouble with the mods. If you are planning to make a YouTube video on this, you have my permission to do so, but please put in a viewer's discretion is advised in it because there are parts that are pushing it just a tad bit. Friday, 30 days remain. Well, it's that time of year again, no not November is back. You see, with my family, it's a huge competition, completely ran by mom to see who can go the longest without busting that sweet sweet peanut. Normally I'm not too good at it, last year I was out of the competition pretty early on, but it wasn't my fault, Holly decided to upload her summer pics on Instagram when I was super- Greg, what are you doing? Huh? But this year, I need to win this because the stakes are higher than ever. Normally the winner, which is always Manny obviously, gets to pick out something of their choice. That's actually how Manny got the pig. I made up the whole fair contest thing so Amulet would let me publish. However, this year mom changed the prize after the the pig got us in over the past year. Instead, she's giving whoever wins this year's No Nut November the infinite nut pass, giving the person the right to unlimited nuts with no consequences. If anyone is getting that pass, it's going to be me. We've already started the competition since today is November 1st. I'm telling you, it's going to be a long month, especially when Thanksgiving rolls around and mom ups the game. But in the end, it's all going to be worth it. To jack off to Holly's bikini pics whenever I please, thanks to that pass. The only person I'm worried about is Manny, honestly, cause I've never seen him bust a peanut before, and part of me says he doesn't even know what busting a peanut is, but I don't care. Infinite nut pass, here I come. Bring it on, mom. Tuesday, 26 days remain. So far so good, still no cravings to bust a peanut, I've been keeping my distance from Holly, because you never know if she's going to wear something that turns you on. Besides, she's already got Bryce as a boyfriend, and I've moved on from her. Grandma isn't happy with mom about this whole NNN competition, as she says it's a dumb thing to be holding, you know, a contest for something the boy shouldn't even be doing in the first place, because masturbation is a sin. Well, golly gee willikers, grandma, if it ain't in the Bible, then it ain't no sin. Saturday, 29 days remain. Like every year, dad is the first one out. That the f didn't even last one damn night. But I understand his pain when you're sleeping next to the person that's trying to make you bust a peanut. You can only go so far until you give away. There is something messed up about that guy. I've heard rumors from Manny that he's been having sex with Mrs. Jefferson. But what does he know? Anyways, I've been holding off pretty well so far. I haven't had any urges to bust. Heck, I haven't even gotten an erection yet. I've blocked Holly and a few other girls on Instagram, but like they're going to care. Half of them have boyfriends anyway. But anyways, like even though I kind of see where grandma is coming from, keep in mind she paid dad $50 to fix her Wi-Fi and all he had to do was reset the router. Anyways, Terrence and Uncle Joe are out, as both of them busted over the weekend. Don't know how, but they just did. At least dad is feeling better knowing he's not the only one out anymore. Monday, 19 days remain. Well, I just had a close call at school today. I forgot we started our swimming unit today because of course we did. And Holly just happened to wear a swimsuit that turned me on. <laughs> Raymond thought it would be funny to laugh at my erection, but you know, let's not forget his mom has stage 3 breast cancer, so I didn't take him too seriously. Thankfully, I didn't nut. Can't say the same for Fregly though. What the f Fregly? My boner wasn't going away, however, and I just had to live with it. Trust me, it isn't easy to be walking around school with everyone knowing you're hard, but it will be worth it in the end when I get that pass. Friday, 15 days remain. Holy shit, I can't believe what happened today. Manny is out, he nutted today, he busted a goddamn peanut. According to him, someone was playing with a vacuum cleaner at preschool today and put the tube up to his dick, causing him to nut. 
He's been trying to tell mom that it isn't his fault and that he shouldn't be out. But according to mom, a nut is a nut and no exceptions. So Manny is out. That makes it easier for me. I was conducting a plan to make him not involving some Fortnite PORN, but I guess I don't have to know. Manny has been taking this loss very hard. He's been dragging Tingy around for the past two hours and he looks like he's about to snap. Part of me feels bad for him, but then again, this is an NNN. It's everyone's game. Damn. Damn shame, dog. Damn shame, really. Sunday, 13 days remaining. Manny killed himself. He's f***ing dead. We were getting dinner prepared when we heard a loud ass bang from upstairs. We bolted up to Manny's room since he was the only one up there at the time and found his dead body next to dad's shotgun. He blew his f***ing head off. It was so gruesome, I don't even want to attempt to draw it. It was sick to my stomach seeing all the blood everywhere. He left a death note, but I could barely even read it. But at the end, he wrote, Frick you, Megan, you pluby. Dad was upset, the pig was literally crying, but mom was expressionless, saying that sometimes no nut November is like that. Seriously? You don't give a shit about your son dying? Boy, this took a turn for the worst. Grandma and a lot of others in the family are absolutely furious at mom, saying that this has gone too far and that this competition should be called off. Your son just committed suicide, Susan. It's time to call off this damn competition. I already know mom is just going to shrug it off. Besides, Manny was an entitled little shit anyways. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. The pig is out. The mother pig nutted. He used Manny's quartz as a fleshlight or some shit. I don't know right now. Afterwards, he tried eating Manny's whoosh ocean noises. I figured that out because he was walking around weird and then the little shit puked up that severed two inch knob. It's f***ed up, I know. Anyways, there's still two weeks left and at the moment, seven people are out. Dad, Uncle Joe, Terrence, Malcolm, who got busted smashing his peanuts to Peppa Pig hentai, Benji, who had SEX with a stuffed giraffe, Manny, and now the pig. However, once Thanksgiving rolls around, that list is going to double, maybe even triple. Wednesday, 10 days remain. I've been talking a ton about who's out, but there's a ton of shockers who's still in. One of the biggest is Uncle Gary. I am impressed with him going this long without busting his peanuts, especially after that incident that happened outside the local elementary school last winter. Give me that pussy! Ah! At the moment, he currently has a restraining order on every public school in the state, which is probably why he's still in. I hate to say it, but now that Manny is out of the way, I think Uncle Gary is my biggest competition now, since he can't legally be around children. Grandpa is also still in this competition, but he's kind of a piece of shit when it comes to NNN. He's the kind that sneaks up on you and proceeds to give you a hand job when you're least expecting it. He gets someone every year. That's how I lost three years ago. Grandpa, you jackass! <laughs> Basically, when Thanksgiving rolls around, stay as far away from him as possible and always check your back. Roderick let his guard down last year and he got sabotaged by Grandpa. He was so pissed afterwards. The last one that really needs to be talked about is Byron. He's the unluckiest of the whole family as he's finished runner up more than anyone else and every year he's starting to look like he's more and more likely going to snap and go off. Last year he blew it at grandma's from Thanksgiving. While he was second he took out his rage on Aunt Keiki putting her in the hospital for a few weeks. I can go on and on talking about who's still in and out but I'll probably simplify it with this handy chart. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so there will be a lot less competition to worry about because according to the older men, it's the hardest part of NNN. While others might get turned on when mom does what she does, I don't find it sexy at all, you know, on account of being her son, so I don't really have anything to worry about. Friday, 8 days remain. 
Oh, thank God I'm so lucky to be alive. Boy, do I have a lot to talk about after yesterday's shit show. I can just spill the tea, but I think you all saw it on the news. Breaking news. 23 dead in domestic shooting. This is Channel 15, Plainview Late Night News. Long story short, me, Roderick, and Uncle Gary are the last ones in contention. Everyone else is dead. Well, everyone except dad and mom and grandma because they got out perfectly fine. Remember when I said that it looked like Byron was going to snap? That's exactly what happened. It all started like normal. We arrived at grandma's house with our food and headed in. Of course, mom tries to spite the food with drugs to make the men for the main event. But you really can't feel like eating knowing there's a crushed up rhino pill in the mashed potatoes your mom made for you. When we got inside, something seemed off. Then I realized something. Uncle Gary wasn't there. Honestly, I can't blame him. There's really no rule against this. But mom said that he was a pussy for not showing up to the dinner. Sucks that I was forced to go. Everyone else was there, however. Even Aunt Veronica and Uncle Lawrence were there too, which was pretty surprising. After some chit chat, we had dinner. Boy, does that rhino pill hit you hard. I nearly snapped after I finished eating. Fortunately for me, I didn't, couldn't really say much, you know, the same thing about Uncle Arthur though. Poor bastard smashed his peanuts right in the stuffing on Roderick's plate. After the dinner, mom said it was time for the main event. I heard grandpa groan because we all knew what was gonna happen next. All us men went into the living room and mom locked the door behind us. We aren't getting out until mom says we are. But again, I have nothing to worry about because I don't find my mom attractive at all. She takes her shirt and pants off and starts to... Oh my, what? Twerk on the coffee tables as music blasts on the stereo. <laughs> if you think I'm drawn to that stuff, I saw. <laughs> Please fucking seek mental help. Mom tried to encourage the other women, which were also in the room, to do the same thing, which led to a large groan of annoyance because of how stupid this entire thing was. Even though I wasn't turned on by any of the this bullshit, you know, turns out others did, as a few gave way towards her performance. That's when it all went south. Byron was doing a good job holding it in and was focusing on trying not to give in to mom's temptations. That's when grandpa struck again and got him when he least expected it. Poor Byron was done and it was all because of grandpa's fault. But of course mom's rule, no exceptions, meant he was out. A lot earlier than normally does too. Grandpa went on to taunt Byron for the fact that he lasted longer than him this time. That's when he said, Man, it must really suck to be you. <laughs> after all these years of losing, after all these years of frustration and rage build up, Byron finally snapped. He pulled out two guns and killed Grandpa. He then shoved Mom off the coffee table and screamed, If I can't have that pass, no one can! He opened fire at everyone. We were all screaming and yelling at mom to unlock the door as blood was spewing everywhere. However, mom refused to open it until my performance is over. Luckily, Uncle Travis kicked the door down just as he was shot in the back three times and died. Me and Roderick booked it. Turning around, I saw Byron pin down Malcolm and blew his head off with a shotgun. I felt like I was in a Vietnam again. Wait, when was I in Vietnam? On the bright side, Dad and Roderick were okay and were right behind me, so glad to say they weren't dead. But Dad was shot in the booty cheeks, so he was screaming in pain. Ah, son of a- We busted out the front door and got in the car. Thank God Dad had the keys and not Mom, otherwise we would have been toast. We backed out of Grandma's driveway and drove off. Out the side mirror, I could see Uncle Larry getting shot in the head and collapsing to the ground. Poor bastard. The police would eventually arrive, and that stupid Byron thought he could take on nine cops with two pistols. All I heard was he fully fired two shots before being turned into red mist with 54 bullets and dying instantly. 
On the news, Police Chief Roger Tubbs said it was the most gruesome scene he'd ever seen. It was all over the news and made national headlines as the worst act of domestic terrorism in American history. Despite this, I'm pretty sure mom still isn't going to call off this competition because that's how NNN goes sometimes. But in all seriousness, it's gone too far. Monday, five days remain. Grandma is absolutely furious about this entire fiasco. She's been living with us for the weekend since her house is still a crime scene, and she's been giving mom both barrels. Grandma called mom a disgrace to the entire Hefley family and blaming her for all the murder in her house. She forced mom to call off the competition or she'd call the cops on her. So mom did the right thing and ended the competition. Just kidding, she stabbed grandma to death. She said that that old bitch deserved it because she was always spewing bullshit and never actually appreciated the benefits to the competition. She's currently in the basement disposing of the body. It smells so bad down there, so I'm not even gonna bother questioning what's going on. Wednesday, three days remain. Well, Uncle Gary is out and in prison. Turns out his car broke down in front of a playground. After holding it all in so long, he finally snapped. And just like that, the Hefleys are in the news for the second time this week. Breaking news, man arrested for f***ing six children. Anyways, it's an absolute nightmare for Rian Roderick, as we're the last two in contention. Mom decided to pay a visit yesterday at school in her stripper clothes, which meant I thought it was the end for me, and I'll get bullied for the rest of my life. Getting turned on yet sexy bear? What the f- <laughs> oh, moving on. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, that's when Frankly decided to cause a scene with mom and we got a live show in class. I am not even gonna- I, I regret drawing this. Fregley was severely bullied throughout the rest of the day being called a prostitute boy, but I think they should be a bit more careful cause we all know what happens when someone gets bullied in the American school. Anyways, dad pulled me to the side this morning explaining some important information. He said that since it's the final 72 hours of the competition, she's locking us in the house uh, so we can't escape until there's a clear winner and she'll do all her best to make me and Roderick both bust some peanuts. I initially thought that was a bit overkill, but he was right. When I was going to Raleigh's to play the new Twisted Wizard DLC, the door wasn't just locked, it was welded. Thankfully, I turned around just before mom tried to pin me to the door and do her work, and I managed to get away. Thursday, two days remain. Roderick came into my room today. He looked all shaken up. I asked him what happened, and he said he was taking a nap when he woke up to mom trying to jack him up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, enough laugh. He was very close to busting a peanut, but didn't. Yo, Roderick, what happened? Susan tried to touch me! Was it bad? It was super terrifying! Roderick, why are you singing? I don't know! Now knowing that, I'm going to make sure I keep my door locked at night. Hopefully she doesn't try to sneak through the window or some shit like that. As much as I want to try to sabotage Roderick for the win, I feel like that would be a douchey move. Ever since the shooting at grandma's, I've been a lot more passive. Saturday, 24 hours remain. Well, here we are. November 30th. Gotta say, it feels like it's been an eternity since this all began. Almost like 8 months or so, mom has been getting in my way all day, completely nude. I have no idea why she thinks that I'll get turned on with the I am not reading this. No, you can't f pay me to read this. Okay, but whatever helps her sleep at night. It's honestly starting to get annoying, and Roderick agrees. Just before lunch, she tried to grab my dick, but I punched her in the face and ran away. I'm currently locked upstairs in the bathroom, hoping this will blow over soon. Occupado! Six hours remain. 
I don't know how long I've been up there, but it's getting dark outside, so I think it's almost the end of the day. I have no idea where Roderick is, but I think it's clear to go downstairs. When I get downstairs, Dad is in the kitchen. I asked where Mom is, and he said that she's downstairs with Roderick. That's when I heard a bloodthirsty scream. It was Roderick. A few seconds later, I heard Mom. Me wondering about Roderick became when she said from the basement that I won NNN. I can't believe it. I won! She told me to come downstairs to, to claim my pass and I hurried down the basement. Dad was screaming at me as I went down but I don't care. Greg, no, it's a trap! I get downstairs and peek into Roderick's room. I can see the nut on his blanket so it's official. He's knocked out on his bed face down so that must have been quite the bust. Mom congratulated me and said how well I've done. I asked her for the pass but she said not yet. But there is one more contender. I was confused. I asked who it could be, and then she started to take her pants off. I was confused about what she was doing until everything started to add up. And just when I figured it out, she revealed her penis? Holy shit, man. Like, man, my mom's a dude. A dude with breast implants. My mom said that she's not Susan Heffley, that she's infamous serial killer and gay porn sign, <laughs> Sammy Twitchy Dick. <laughs> I've heard that name before. He murdered his entire family to get their valuables. What valuables, though? Oh, wait, never mind. The feds assumed he was killed in a boat crash in 2002, but turns out it was my mom. The whole time i'm i'm shaking right now she told me that she killed manny and actually hired byron as an assassin a few years ago to murder everyone else when the time was just right i knew i was next and tried to book it but next thing you know she uh, tripped me and then smashed my head with a pan i don't know how long i was knocked out but when i woke up i was trapped to a bed i looked at the clock 10 30 p.m this is the end. As Sammy walks into the room, he's about to finish me off. I know once he's done, he's going to kill me. I can still hear his last words as he approached me. Enjoy the last cock and ball torture of your pathetic life, Gregory. He began to give me a PB&J. I've been holding it in for so long, it didn't take long for me to already feel like it was about to smash a peanut. I tried my hardest to break free, but he tied me down tight. Not as tight as his fake pup. After all this time, I've come so far. <laughs> I've only got my fraudulent mom to beat now. Now I'm not accepting defeat this easily. Yeah, so I can't show you what happened. So what I can tell you is that um, Greg did kick Sammy right in the dick. After I kicked Sammy right in his balls, I broke free and booked it. We were in a secret room in the basement, so before I went upstairs to wake up Roderick and tell him we need to get out of here. I already know that I can't stay. He's absolutely going to kill me. When I went to Roderick's room, I was horrified. He was dead. Sammy must have got Roderick's eyes out. I couldn't stay pinned in here, so I... <laughs> I can hear Sammy's footsteps, so I bolted out of the room. It looks like I'm on my own here. I have no idea where Dad is, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's dead too. The doors were welded shut, so I couldn't get out through the doors. Next thing you know, Sammy's coming out of the basement with a knife. I'm sick of your shit, Gregory. There is no other way out. I had no choice but to do what I did. It was painful as hell, but what else was I supposed to do? I'm bleeding all over the place. Shit is getting all over my journal, but that doesn't matter right now. It's super cold out and it doesn't help that I'm ass naked out here. Forgot to mention we're in a blizzard warning right now, but that doesn't matter. I checked behind me and Sammy was right on my tail waving his knife in the air. The adrenaline is really helping me escape. I've never ran this fast before. It's been about 45 minutes now and I have no idea where I am. I just ran in one direction and booked it. I see a sign coming up, so maybe that will help me. 
Hard scrabble farms, that's it. The maintenance shed. The place is abandoned since they're closed for the season, but I bet the shed it will be easy to get into. Grandpa taught me how to lockpick when I was 10, and I can't believe that it's going to actually be useful for once. I get inside the shed and hide in the corner. I'm assuming it's 10 minutes to midnight. I'm still trying to process everything that's happened so far. He really killed Manny. Byron is an assassin. Why is Sammy doing this? For money? For revenge? My entire world has turned upside down. But before I can get my head straight, I heard something that made my heart drop. Hello, Gregory. Holy shit, he found me. How did he find me? I tried to stay as quiet as possible, but Sammy knew that I was there and broke the window open with his knife. This is the end of my life. I'm trapped. As he approached me with knife in hand, he said what I thought would be the last words I'd ever hear in my life. See you on the other side, you disgraceful raspberry plastic tickle bear virgin. I have to think fast because my back is against the wall. I'm freezing and covered with cuts so I won't be able to wrestle my way out of this. That's when I noticed something in the barrel. An axe. I have no choice. I sprinted with all my strength I had left and got the axe. And as Manny sprinted towards me screaming on the top of his lungs, I just killed my mom over a fucking nut pass. How does that sound, motherfuckers? I looked at her watch. 12 a.m. December 1st. I've won. I got the pass. As I strut out the shed, I turned around at Sammy's dead corpse, blood everywhere, and I calmly said, man, checkmate, bitch. I can't wait to finally use this nut pass. I've been waiting forever. And now I'm going to use it. It's going to be a great future for me. December. This is some bullshit. I have no idea where I am and I'm freezing to death. I come all this fucking way to get this pass and I'm going to die before I get to use it? Of hypothermia. There is nobody around for miles and I can't feel my legs. I have no clothes on and it's so snowy and windy I can't find the shed. Damn it. This is the end for me after all. I would have been better off getting shot by Byron at grandma's. Grandma was right. This entire competition was a disaster from start and now look, my entire family is dead and I'm about to die. I'm up against a tree right now. I've given up and accepted my fate. Even writing is a chore because now my fingers are just numb. I can already see the light. I had a good life. Maybe I'll bust a nut just one final time. I think I have enough strength. Oh, that was good. Well, I'm off to see my family in heaven and my mom in hell. If Rowley ever sees this, I was always trans for you. Wait, what? <laughs> love, I, I love you, you magnificent plooby. The Daily Herald. Breaking. 39 dead in Plainfield Middle School shooting. An entire family's demise. Internet trend goes too far. December 2, 2019 by Nathan Wright. Internet trends can be funny, but sometimes that can go too far, as with the tragic story of the Heffley family. The No Nut November trend, which is a challenge to not masturbate during the month of November, became a challenge for this family, fueled by who everyone thought to be, you know, Susan Heffley, who worked at the Daily Herald from 2008 to 2011 as a writer. It was revealed to be Samuel Winford, more infamously known as porn star Sammy Twitcherdick, who murdered nine people in the early 2000s. In his recent wake, disguised as Susan, challenged the Hefleys to a competition for Infinite Nut Pass, which ended in bloodshed. Samuel ended up murdering Manny Hefley, framing it as a suicide, and revealed that he hired a hitman, Byron McClack, to assassinate 23 family members in the largest domestic shooting in American history on Thanksgiving Day. Samuel was also responsible for the murder of Roderick Heffley, who was found dead inside his house yesterday morning in what seems to be a gruesome death. I told them it was a trap. Frank Heffley, the husband of Samuel, said, I wouldn't 
however think my that my wife was a fraud. Frank also had to deal with the most recent death of his second-born son, Gregory Heffley, who was found dead on the grounds of the Handscrabble farm earlier this morning with a journal next to him. Authorities are using the journal for evidence to what lead to the murders. The journal will be released to the public in late February 2020. I can't believe any of this would be happening right now, claimed Rowley Jefferson, who was a close friend to Gregory. I had no idea any of this happened, but once I found out Manny was dead, I knew something was wrong. As others mourn the losses of the Heffley family, it comes to show the utter destruction of a simple joke if it goes too far. Next, Gary Heffley awaits execution after his child trafficking history is revealed. And that concludes Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Greg's No Not November. Yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed the video. It was pretty long, but thank you for making it to the end. Alright, so just a few things to say. Um, yeah, first thing. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to put a comment in the comment section. And what I need you guys to do is go under that comment and comment what you guys want me to read or narrate. It doesn't have to be just Diary of a Wimpy Kid. It can be pretty broad so long as one, it's not too violent. And two, it's not sexual in nature because that shit will probably get my channel striped, probably. Or at least age restricted. Um, but yeah, um, you can submit whatever you want on the day. I even said that I wanted to read stuff like... Um, from the SCP Foundation, things like that. Um, yeah, it basically can be anything you want, so long as, again, it's not violent, it's not sexual in nature. Um, other than that, the Crime Files Episode 5 will be dropping in the next few days, not sure when, but it will arrive in the next few days. Um, yeah, yeah, announcements are pretty much done. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, join my Discord, um yeah that's uh pretty much all i have to say i will see you guys in the next video which should be on saturday remember to catch uh diary of a demon slayer on saturday 8 p.m um est um 2 a.m gmt all right but uh, yeah that's pretty much it um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video why am i still talking peace out